You've heard the warning for years that lead-based paint can cause serious harm to young children, including brain damage. Now there's new research showing that even the smallest amount of lead in the blood can cause behavioral problems in children. Channel 2 Morning Anchor Tania Wright explains the primary sources of lead danger and the steps that parents can take to eliminate that risk. In older homes, the danger could be in the water. All oh, this is peeling, so. Or on the ceiling and walls. Despite awareness efforts and community outreach, lead poisoning remains a concern. That's the really tragic thing about lead is that once a child is lead poisoned, then they have some permanent deficits. Janet Curry studied the blood lead levels of 120,000 children. Using school records, the researchers wanted to see if a child's blood lead levels in the preschool years predicted whether they later had problems in school. They found a relationship between even the lowest levels of lead and future academic progress. They are more likely to have disciplinary problems in school. It was very striking that for every microgram of lead additional, you would see, um, you know, a, a step up in the level of problems. Curry says if your home was built before 1978, it likely has lead-based paint. Any peeling paint should be removed by a contractor and covered with fresh paint. Commercially available filters can remove lead particles from tap water. If you live in an older home, don't plant your vegetables against the house. There could be lead in the soil, so instead, build a raised bed with fresh soil. Curry says the research finding confirms that at any level, lead in a child's blood is a reason for concern. She also says there needs to be more effective ways to mandate blood tests for children to detect that lead. Tanaya Wright, KPRC, Channel 2 News.